Back to one of our top stories. Now Western Sydney Airport has released its preliminary flight paths report into its 24-hour operations. Blacktown, Penrith and parts of the Blue Mountains expected to bear the brunt of the noise planned in and around the new terminal. Joining us live now is Liberal MP for Lindsay, Melissa McIntosh. Melissa, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. Uh, so just to elaborate on that, the most impacted during the day, Prospect, Orchard Hills, Mount Druitt, Bankstown. At night, Mount Druitt, Penrith, Windsor. Uh, Mount Druitt really copping it, aren't they? So what's your reaction to this this morning? Uh, thanks very much. Uh, well, the Minister, Catherine King, the Infrastructure Minister, released this at 12.01am under the cover of darkness and uh, she announced that there will be a tool for residents across Western Sydney to look at their flight paths and the noise impacts. Unfortunately, that tool uh, isn't working. But I have had a bit of a briefing from the department and the high street of Penrith is going to have airplanes uh, going over it about 40 times, up to 40 times a day. This is on takeoff uh, all the way across the, the Nepean River, which is quite a surprise, not something that we want. Uh, and there's other parts of my community, as you mentioned, they'll be impacted as well. Cambridge Park in my community will have the brunt of the landings up to 70, almost 70 times a day at two and a half to 5,000 feet. And there's parts of my community uh, that I will have to investigate further once I receive the information from government. If you're standing outside, uh, it will impact your ability to have a conversation. So the noise will be that loud. Right. So obviously you can imagine uh, I'm not particularly happy with this information. I think it needs to be balanced uh, when it comes uh, to flight paths. And right now, it doesn't seem that way, but I'm looking forward to hearing some more information from the government so we can assess this properly. OK, so is your beef uh, for, for the noise during the day or, or through the night? Because during the day, at least, I mean, millions of people already deal with this over the city and you just get used to it. Do you get used to it? I don't know. It's really quiet out here uh, in Penrith and that's why people uh, move here. So I don't want people to have to get used to it. Uh, there are some complications during the day. We have uh, an army uh, base uh, that has weapons manufacturing and maintenance. And then we also have uh, the Richmond Air Base. So I understand the complexities, uh, but it just needs to be shared. Uh, it needs to, we need to ensure that one place in particular isn't impacted more than others. And I've been a supporter of uh, the airport all along. It's going to be extraordinary when it comes to jobs for people in Western Sydney. We've had to travel out of the area forever for work. Sure. I used to do that trip over three hours a day. It's horrible. So they, they, there's great news stories around Western Sydney International Airport, but the flight paths, the balance of having that against an aeroplane uh, going really low over your head down the high street of Penrith, we just can't have that. So we'll look into it further. We'll get all the information, but uh, I'm very clear on this. We'll be really noisy uh, in Penrith sure. if it's not fair for our community. So just to elaborate on that point uh, then, um regarding noise i mean you, you do you want the the flights to be shifted around rather than center on a on a certain part of say penrith oh absolutely it has to be fair and balanced uh, uh, having it you know up to i don't know 40 to 60 flights a day going over the the one location this is the main street of penrith it's go it's where our business hub is there is residential around here and it's going over uh, right over the top of the nepean river um in addition to schools so there's a lot of things to weigh up and as I said the government has announced this at 12.01 a.m this morning and the tool that they've announced isn't working yet right, so okay. uh, once that's up and running uh, let's get all the information uh, but I'll be ensuring that my community and pushing really hard that they take part in the consultation uh, process so our voices here in Western Sydney are heard loud and clear by the Albanese government. Okay Melissa McIntosh appreciate that thank you.